My name is Amy Angert. I'm an associate professor in the departments of botany and zoology, and I study the effects of climate change on species distributions. As an undergrad biology major, I got involved in fieldwork right away. Um, I spent my summers tromping around the Missouri Ozarks trying to catch lizards with a fishing pole and a bit of dental floss. The project in Missouri was a, a restoration ecology project. We were very simply trying to reintroduce these um, threatened lizards back onto this habitat. But the reason they were threatened was that they were at the very margin of their geographic distribution. And um, I was just fascinated with this question of what limits species distributions. Every single species, no matter uh, where it lives or what kind of organism it is, has a geographic distribution. Something about the process of adaptation seems to break down at the margin of a species distribution, and we don't quite know why. Geographic ranges have been sort of a, an early warning signal that climate change is having biological effects. Which species are best able to keep up and which species are most vulnerable to not being able to shift their ranges. What we don't know is exactly which species are vulnerable and, um, and the ways that we can actually take proactive measures to try to conserve them. By studying these problems, we hope to be able to make more accurate forecasts of where species are going to be shifting under climate change scenarios. We've been working in the Cascade Mountains in Washington, and what we've been doing there is resurveying some historical vegetation plots. We have the initial survey methods, and we go out into the best of, of our abilities, we repeat their methods, um, survey in exactly the same ways in the same places, and in doing so we're documenting the kinds of changes we're seeing in the vegetation communities in these mountainous landscapes. Well, support from the Killam is going to enable me to actually be in the field. Um, I'm going to be able to go out to our study sites, spend more time with the students, with the land managers who are interested in these results. It's the sorts of um, chance observations and chance conversations you have with the research crew that can lead to unexpected discoveries, that can set the research off in new directions. Without the support, I would not be able to travel to these field sites and spend um, the time that I need in the field.